Hi guys, it's Monica. I'm going to share with you a wig review and this is actually one of the new releases from the wig company and the piece I'm going to share with you is from their statements line. So the wig company sent the actually two wigs to me, one I have on my head and the other one I'm going to show you in a moment, complimentary in exchange for a review and I'm so grateful to be able to do this and to be able to share different hair looks with you in different colors and affordable pieces as well. So if you're not familiar with the wig company and their statements line, I'll make sure I link the information below. But this wig that I'm gonna share with you, take a look at this. The color is really, really beautiful. This is R11S Glazed Mocha. And this is, flip the page. And this is sort of a long, I want to say, I would more describe this as sort of, they call it a mid-length um, with tons of layers. It kind of reminds me of a shag cut, but a long shag cut like I used to have back in the day. And it has, the fibers are absolutely fantastic, guys. For the price point, you cannot go wrong. If you can find the color that you like, and they, these fibers will not let you down. They're beautiful, and the blending is really, really pretty. Now, this is a basic wig. This does not have a lace front, does not have a monofilament. You've got a little bit of wefting on the top to give it some height. Very, I think, hardly at all. I can't really feel any permatease. The wefting up top gives it more of a natural teased look so that, you know, it sits nice on your head. I'm gonna turn it around and show you the inside. Stretchy cap, now I have average. My circumference is 22 inches and my forehead to my chin is nine. So you can see no lace front, no monofilament, a little bit of the wefting here to give it some height or some minor permatease. I kind of call it more wefting, more teased look than actually full height. The fibers are I think the fibers come down to give you a, a side swept fringe, which I think is really, I think is really pretty. So if you are a person that loves bangs, you love a side swept fringe, you're going to love this. So again, a very nicely stretchy cap and you've got the ear tabs sort of felt. They have the fibers sewn right in to really give you a natural look. You can pull this off your face. You can pull this back. You can put this in a ponytail. It's really, really cute. Now, let me just read what they how they describe this. Mid-length, and it has tons of layers and a full side fringe. Totally agree. Perfect for all day wear. This wig will give you just the walked out of the salon look. I want to say this wig will give me the walked out of the salon, but more of a relaxed look because to me that's what it is. It gives me a really relaxed look. It, it just makes me feel really comfortable. The, the cap is really nice. You can straighten or curl these fibers because they are heat friendly. So you can use certain tools for this. Shake it when you get it out of the box. I'll show you my um, opening of the box right now. I'll superimpose it on one of these sides so you can see when I got it. Very, very securely packaged in the packaging. I have a few different, I've actually had a number of different wigs from the wig company and they always continue to surprise me with the quality, especially for the price point. So if you're looking for something affordable that looks super realistic, that is a pretty, pretty color, check this out. Now the one that I have on my head is an older style and I'm gonna talk about this in a little bit, but this is just so you know, Make Waves. So Make Waves is sort of a really short, shattered look and you can wear it many different ways, but I'm not gonna really go into that. But just for those of you that are watching, this is Make Waves and this is in the color F24 slash 12, considered light brown with ash blonde highlights. Make Waves. So now let's act to flip the page and I'm gonna put her on. So hold on. Voila. So here she is on. I did have to uh, adjust the cap a little bit when I first put it on, adjust the ear tabs, make sure the back is pulled down enough to, to, um, to go over my nape. And then this, because I said there was some natural wefting to give you a little bit of natural height, you have a little puffiness here. I actually like this look. I like a little bit of height here. Now, because of the way it is sewn in the crown here, 
you are going to get that height. But again, a little bit of product, you can you can smooth it out if you want. Get this in the back here, but I'm going to turn around really quick so you can see. I think this is really cute. So perfect for an updo if you wanted to pull some of this back. Again, it's layered. It is more of a, a shag cut style to me. So let me give you some of the dimensions here. Shorter layers in the front, longer flipped back. You can put it in a low pony. You can actually clip it up if you want, put it in a total updo. Um, they recommend that you totally brush it out because of course when it comes to you, it's gonna have that preset part to some degree here. But these are basically heat friendly fibers so you can style them. The weight of this wig is about four ounces and the front is five and a half which I, I totally agree with. The crown goes down seven inches. The sides are seven inches. I'm feeling that, um, the well, it says the back is nine and a half, and I'm definitely feeling that is correct. So it is, a, I would definitely call it a shag style. And this is really pretty. Now, let me just talk to you a little bit about the color. So this is what they call R11S glazed mocha. So it is sort of a medium brown, I think with a glaze of golden highlights. That's what I'm gonna call it. A glaze of golden highlights throughout. And you can see these highlights are very, very evenly blended. There's not gonna be any like stark in your face. Here's, a, here's some highlights. It is just beautifully evenly blended throughout the whole piece. Really pretty. I'm gonna show you some outside pictures. I took a video outside. Sometimes there is a big difference between what you see inside and then when you go outside, especially if it's a sunny day. We haven't had any sunny days. It's been kind of, you know, rainy mixture and all that stuff. But this is an afternoon video of me just walking around my backyard and the leaves are down, not much color. It's kind of boring season in New England once the beautiful leaves fall. But I wanted you to be able to see what this looks like outside. But more importantly, these fibers, I mean, colors, there's so many different colors, different variations that you can select for a wig, obviously. But the fibers are awesome. You would never guess by touching these fibers that this is an affordable piece. These fibers are just beautiful. They're not over the top. They're not shiny. Of course, the heat friendly, so heat friendly is not as shiny as normal, regular synthetic. But they feel really nice. They feel rich. And I think the color blend of Glaze Mocha looks rich. So if this is your color, if this is your style, and you're looking for affordability, this is it. Remember, no mono, no lace front. You are going to have some wefting here. You're going to have a little bit of a puff. You can manage some of that with some sort of peace out cream or something like that or styling gel. This is a pretty piece. I'm going to do another spin. Right side. Back. And left side. Thank you all so much for watching and thank you to the wig company for sending this beautiful piece to me. Thank you.